Hey everybody, and welcome to what I am calling the first ever Gachapon Party. I call it a Gachapon Party because we are going to open several Gachapon that I got from Japan, and I don't really know exactly what everything is, but it should be fun. Now, if you're not familiar, Gachapon are these cute little, mostly figures, and different types of random items that you can usually get from vending machines in Japan. They're anywhere from 300 yen to maybe 500 yen. Sometimes they can be a little cheaper, but commonly they're about 300 yen. So they're about $3. But these figures can typically pack quite a good bit of detail into a tiny little thing. They're plenty of fun to collect, and some of them shoot up a lot in value because they do change them seasonally. So today I have some that I had a friend get for me and some that I even got while I was in Japan, and I plan to open some random ones today. Now I recently talked about these in a Weeaboo Wednesday, and one series that I actually really like is this little guy here. This is an Egyptian god of sorts. As is this one right here, but this one I'm kind of mad at because I got three of it when I was trying to get these, and I did four in total, and three of them were this little ghost, and it made me so mad. But, each one was about 300 yen, and they are from this little series of Egyptian god figures. Very cute stuff, there's five in total, and I only got two after getting four of them. So the ones we got were Sata and Majed, and there's of course Bastet, Anubis, as well as our boy Set. So if you're into this kind of thing, these are the types of things you can get. Sometimes artists will just make fun little series like this, and yeah, it can sometimes explode from there because this is now going to be getting an anime. Oh, I got a few of these too. Sometimes they're just really random, these ones are just frogs. He kind of looks dead. His tongue's hanging out, it can slide around, and his limbs are all flippy and floppy. Pretty cute, there was a bunch of different colors, and yeah, this was one of the ones that I got. But let's go ahead and just open one randomly. Uh, let me clear them out of the way for a moment because they will mess with the focus. So this one I know of because I got this while I was in Japan. I know what it is, and this is how it came out. It wasn't in one of the little capsules like you see the other ones are. So this one kind of just came out on its own, which is pretty hilarious for what it is. This first one here is an orange isopod. If you don't know what an isopod is, then where have you been? It's this weird little sea creature kind of thing, and they're like super old, but yeah, as creepy as this looks, I think it's pretty adorable. <laughs> this is so neat. What's really weird is that all of his legs are actually poseable. There's each one there is on sort of a little ball joint, which is pretty impressive. And then when you roll him up, you actually plug the keychain into his back right here. So you just stick that in, turn it like a key so it won't come out, and now boom. You can actually make him sort of bite this little tab inside to keep him shut. So that's that, pretty cute. All right, let's do the next one. This is one that I'm excited for because I do know the series that it's from now that I'm looking at it. These are called Kinoko Dragon, which basically means mushroom dragon. There are all these neat looking dragons that look like mushrooms. The main reason I was so in love with the series was because I saw this little guy on the machine and that's just adorable. And each one has a really interesting design to it. The one that we got today looks to be this guy right here. So each one is a hybrid, of course, of a dragon and some sort of mushroom. <laughs> Once you open him up, this is what it looks like. Pretty interesting, actually. I like the eye, it's super lethargic, and the shell is pretty cool too. I like the way that that's styled, actually. Let's do this one next. And of course, this one is also in a ball, so this is your standard gachapon format here. What is this? <laughs> oh, okay. So, Kalbi potato chip suit. So, these are different types of potato chips. Literally, each one is a potato chip of sorts. And the one that we got today is this. These are shrimp chips. So, hilariously, you have the actual chips here, which look decent, uh, good enough to eat, I guess, if you're into that sort of thing. And then on the ball chain, you actually have the packaging as well. So that is the stuff that we are looking at right now. Very delectable. As you can see, the Japanese have pretty much no restraint in making these. They make them very ridiculous things, which is always hilarious. Next, let's go with something I have been looking forward to for a while. This, if you can't tell, 
is Gojira 01. So this is the series one of the Godzilla Gashapon. And I got this at the Godzilla store, which we'll talk about later. Now these ones are a little bit more expensive. I wanna say these were like 500 yen, but they seem to be worth it because each one is really nice. This thing was all taped shut. And as you can see, the capsule actually looks like Godzilla's skin, which I think is a fun little thing. What is, what is going on here? There's a, oh, I know exactly what we got. Okay, this is amazing. Uh, as I was looking at the lid, I realized exactly what's going on here. The top of the capsule has this little hollowed area where you can actually plug something. So you actually turn the very lid of the cap inside out, plug it into the hollowed out area, and then there's a little bit of gravel that you put in there as well. That acts like a stand, which is super awesome engineering. And like I said, once piecing this thing together, it's easy to see why it was so expensive because this is one hell of a King Ghidorah. Even comes with little effect parts for lightning. So he definitely needs to be unraveled a little bit because he was inside that ball and of course that really folded up some of the plastic, but it's a soft enough plastic that you could probably just heat it up and it'll be okay. On the packaging, he looks like this. So once we open up those wings and really get him loosened up, he'll look awesome. And this is of course the Ghidorah from King of the Monsters. So that's pretty dope. That's amazing, he's huge. Now this next one's a little bit more simple and I got this one from Nada. And if you don't know what about Nada, then, well, just wait for the next Japan vlog, because that might be where we're going. This was super cheap, and I got a couple of them, mainly just because of how cute they were. So let's take a look. Oh my god, this is huge. This is gigantic. I had to zoom out. Look at how big this is. How sweet is that? It's a little drawstring bag. Aww. Shikamaro-kun. That's adorable. And this is great. You could put your gachapon in there. So, you know, hey, mom put my gachapon in there and take it away. Definitely a great little souvenir. Only 300 yen too. I don't know what this one's gonna be like, but it's from Dragon Ball, so let's check it out. Whose job is it to put tape on all of these? I feel so bad for that guy. If this is Dragon Ball Super, don't be mad at me. I haven't watched that. Nope, I know who that is. Oh, there's two different advertisements in it. This one shows GT characters, of which this is not. This is the series it's from, and unfortunately, it was not Vegeta, but it is Goku. Though, I will say, this is pretty nice. Comes with this giant blob to put around his legs so that he's stabilized, but that's really good quality, to be honest. Look at those muscles. Ooh! The only thing that kind of sucks is the mouth. The detail in the paint there is a little bad, but for the most part, this is amazing quality for such a small figure, and it was only three bucks, so that's damn nice. Kaioken times eight million! Ah! And for every insane one, we gotta do like a mundane one. From the insane to the mundane. And this one looks pretty darn cute. Oh my God. So this one is just miniatures. Oh my God, no. They're Shiba Inu miniatures. Wanko, oh, Wanko. Wanko. Hey, sugoi, kawaii desu ne. No, but in all honesty, this is super adorable. Each one is like a themed piece of like kitchen equipment with this cute little dog on it. And it looks to me that we got this one here, Donabe set. As you can see here, we have a cute little set with this little bowl and this little pot that looks like a Shiba Inu, which is actually, you can open it and then I guess dump the cute little dog shaped treats in there. And inside the bowl, there's actually a cute little doggy themed emblem there. But that's not all because inside of the ladle itself, you probably can't see it, but there is a paw. You can just barely make that out. How sweet is that? Wan Wan is the noise that dogs make to the Japanese. And Wan Wan indeed, because that's pretty darn cute. Part of me thinks that maybe this is too much, but let's keep going. Because we've got another Kinoko Doragon. Ugh. Oh my. This one's a bit chonky. Think that says Nanoko? Maybe? Is that a type of mushroom? Oh my God, I like this guy. He's cute. Look how fat he is. Oh my God. And look at his silly little face. Little... He a sleepy dragon. You ever seen a dragon do that? I've never seen a real dragon at all, so. Very cute, very kawaii, cho kawaii. Uh, okay, so <laughs> next one is gonna be series two. 
of the Godzilla Gojira series 2. Let's open it up. All right, so this boy ain't quite as big as our man Ghidorah. So let's take a look. <gasps> no way. Did we get Hedora? I think we got Hedora. Oh my god, now I'm interested to see. <gasps> Biorante! Oh! Dude, this series is awesome! They've got the 89 Godzilla. They've got Biorante, which, you know, Biolante or Biolante or whatever it's called. The little plant thing. Hedora and Mecha Godzilla. Oh my god, I want that Mecha Godzilla. That's amazing. But Hedora is, of course, just this creepy, gross smog monster. And he is super strong for some reason, even though he's just like a bunch of toxic waste. But I know someone who's rather fond of Hedora. Oh my God, this thing is involved. Let's put it together. I don't really get the base for this one. There's a big hole in it. And to the untrained eye, this one may seem a little weird, but Hedora, I assure you, looks amazing here. Very accurate to the movie. He's just a lot of just sludge and grossness, and they've certainly captured that well here, especially with the little accents where his eyes are and stuff like that. It looks super cool, and on his back, he's got plenty of ketchup and mustard. Really neat looking thing here with lots of weird, like, flowing appendages and his big splatter as a base. Yeah, I don't know, that's pretty awesome. I think that looks really cool. I hope that the other ones that I got are different, but uh, either way, this is super cool for me. I do want that Mecha Godzilla though. Now this next one is going to also be the last one, but I did save the best for last, I think. Who am I kidding? The Godzilla is really hard to top. Oh, you know what? I should probably mention the other Godzilla Gashapon that I got from like two years ago in Japan. He's so adorable. Look at him. He's so stupid. And you can kind of just put him like on your finger and be like, ah, I'm gonna eat you. <laughs> Seriously, can you dislike this boy? But our final gachapon of the day is this, which is super cool. If I can get it open. Ooh. Okay. So this, as you may be able to tell, is... Oh. Oh man, I got the worst one. These are all mini Gunpla. Like, each one is a Gundam model kit, which is really cool. But the one I got just so happened to be this little plane. Sukai Guraspa. I think that says Sky Grasper. Sukai Guraspa. Super cool. But either way, each one of these is a mini gunpla kit. And I just happen to get like the little stealth bomber. But still, this is a cool idea. I would have loved to have gotten this guy. Or even this sort of Zaku. Let's put it together. Okay. You know what? I can admit when I'm wrong. This is actually pretty badass. Look at that. That's a lot going on for just all these little tiny pieces that were inside that Gashapon ball. There's like a bunch of different moving parts here, and he even has multiple forms, or I shouldn't say he because it's a ship, but you can take off all this back carriage here, and after you remove all that, you can plug in this smaller, more low profile piece, and now you have an actual stealth bomber. So that's gonna do it for the first Gachapon party, guys. What do you think, Gachapon? Do you love him or do you hate him? Regardless of what your answer is, they're certainly a conversation piece, and they're a lot of fun since they're, of course, all random. If you did enjoy this video and like it, then make sure to slap a like on the video, and it shows your support, and as well as comment and tell me what do you think the coolest Gachapon here is? Which one do you want the most? I'm gonna go ahead and link two videos, which are, of course, my Japan trip, and you can actually see me get Gachapon when I'm out and about town. And of course, you can always subscribe as well if you want to keep up with these videos and of course, see more of my Japan adventures as well. With that said, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing weekend and keep on collecting.